and welcome to hashtag grow your life this morning I want to talk to you about how to connect with your customers needs with your messaging your sales messages your content your videos your storytelling and this is an area that even myself as well as people that have been doing this for years still struggle with because we get so caught up in kind of thinking about what our goals are personally and for you what your goals are personally which are important but I want to help you connect deeper with your customers so that then your goals can be leveraged further connecting with your customers needs is the very first thing and that comes above sharing just your story so you have to look at how can I help the person that I am speaking to the person that's watching this right now for me when I'm doing this I'm thinking how can I help you get your goals your goals are more customers more traffic uh, more whatever that is whatever your why is and that goes deeper so why do you want that uh, time freedom family sa satisfaction self feeling good about yourself whatever that is okay that's important and so what I want to do is I want to help you get that when you connect with your customers needs I'm gonna do this on a flip side here because I want to I want you to take a step back outside of yourself for a second and look at your customer while I'm sharing this about you as being you know a potential customer or follower of mine <laughs> so in this when you're sharing your story leading with the relevant facts the details the story how it impacted you if it's not connecting directly with the needs of your customer in doing that there becomes a disconnect with your customer so when you're sharing your story or what you're offering so for instance this is the real common one sharing what you want people to do or take action in or the offer you're not connecting to the real needs that that person has you're sharing it it's great you got the best product in the world the best event the best service whatever that is but you're not connecting to why that person would even want that you're showing it to them but you haven't gone deep into the needs of the person that you are targeting and so the first step is in your communication in both content training messaging and sales a lot of people disconnect both messaging content training and sales and think either one or the other when I'm selling I connect with my customers needs and then when I'm training I don't or vice versa they're really good at connecting to the needs of the person they're training but when it comes to selling they completely disconnect and they don't bring the customer into it it's all about them and what they can do for the person what you can do for the person is very important only after you've made that connection with the deep needs of the customer yet so often many people lead with what they can do for somebody the experience their story their personal experience before connecting with the customer and they lose people before they ever had the chance to make that connection so in the beginning the very first essence of your messaging your storytelling your videos your sales messages is who is my target customer what are their thoughts what are their struggles what are their needs what are they going through right now and how can I help solve that by showing empathy for how they feel how I feel personally inside of me may or may not be relevant to how my target customer feels and in that it's about taking a step back from our personal feelings and looking at the needs of another person how can we then craft our messaging to help serve rather than be served and this is where this comes from when a lot of people are focusing on how I can grow my sales grow my business get better results for me 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 their messaging comes out from a me 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 come to me standpoint rather than I can help you reach your goals reach your results regardless of what I get out of it in the end and when you do that that's where you're giving you're connecting on an energy level with the customer with what they care about with what their needs are but when you're doing a video message specifically 
writing sales copy, sending an email that's not a dialogue. So you're not able to hear from them directly what their needs are. So this is where then I see, this is the number one place that I see a lot of people miss out, yet they already possess inside of them the skill that they need and I want to help people get what's inside of them to come out to get better results because I believe that everybody has inside of them what they need to succeed but they don't even know it yet and how they communicate with their best friends, their family, people that they've already built trust and relationship with, authentic communication without ever worrying about what somebody thinks, being vulnerable enough to expose yourself in your communication. When you can communicate that way strategically to the public that may not have the relationship, you have to connect with their needs before you connect them to what your needs are. And so what do I mean by this? Because it's a single way, a one-way conversation. You're only, I'm talking to one person. I don't hear any of you watching this right now. I wish I could, that would be great. But I have to, in my mind, envision, what does the person watching this feel right now? Where are they in their life? I get somebody in my mind, a person, somebody, or a group of five, 10 people that I either work with, and I think of what would I tell this person to reach their goals. And so for you, connecting to their needs, whether they said it or not, is, is good. Now the flip side of this is sometimes people connect to needs that are non-existent because they're assuming and they're so disconnected from even what their marketplace needs. So that's where market research and doing a deep dive of researching the actual needs of your customer comes in. Once you know that and then you get feedback, now you can talk to that customer's needs. So a lot of times people try to skip ahead of the process by sharing the result, the what they have to offer, this is my gift to you to help, you know, they have the greatest thing. Like they, are, I've seen people, the best podcasts, the best free content, the best videos, it's so good. It's so good, but they're not connecting to the needs of why someone would give up 10 minutes of their time to watch their content. And in that, people drop off in the first minute. They're not connected to that. So if you can connect to the very deep desires and needs of your customers and you actually know what that is, you find it out, you make that your number one mission. How can I find out what their deepest needs and desires are? And how can I help deliver and serve to them without any worry about what comes back to me? Separating what comes back to you from how you can serve. And when you do that without any ulterior motive, or anything inside of you truly caring about helping another person, then your sales messages, your marketing, and your teaching can go a lot further by connecting with the customer's needs. And I'm still discovering what that is. I wanna hear in the comments below if any of this resonated with you, if it didn't, if I'm a little bit disconnected as well about what people need. Um, I've noticed, and I think that I am a little bit, but I've noticed that one of the biggest places people disconnect is they try to share what they have to offer. They're pushing it on people without crafting their message around how I can help that person get their result. And it's rather from look at this, this is what can help you. And there's a big disconnect there. People are like, you don't even know what I want. So, so if, if your messaging, if your training, if you're teaching, if your sales message is disconnected from what they actually want, it will fail. And so that's the first step is connecting that. And then that goes into imparting vision, certainty. And when you can do that, now you have a closable customer or you have somebody when training, when teaching, when you can help somebody transform their life to get a result, it's the same as sales. You have to help them see it for themselves and take ownership over the transformation the same way that you have. And you do that by connecting to the deep needs of why that customer would want that transformation. That way they can choose to do something different than what they've always done because of that. And that's where persuasion comes in and learning that. This is part of that technique of successful persuasion both in coaching and in sales is connecting to the customer's needs in every message that you have that's out to the public. So I hope this helps you. Let me know. Leave some feedback below in the comments. Join the Grow Your Life community, and we'll talk soon. Have a good one, everybody.